On Monday evening, employees of the Canton paper mill were hit with devastating news, the mill will be closing this summer. Active Evergreen, the parent company, called a meeting with managers to deliver the news, but the word quickly spread before the meeting was even over. Hourly workers were still learning about the closure as the news circulated. With roughly 1,200 workers employed at the mill, this announcement will have a significant impact on the community. The main plant in Canton has around 900 workers, with between 200 to 300 employed at the satellite facility in Waynesville. The mill has been a mainstay of Haywood County's economy for nearly 120 years, making the announcement of its closure all the more devastating. Mill officials have not yet been reached for comment, but reports from those in the meetings confirm that the mill will be closing by the end of June, potentially as early as May. Canton Mayor Zeb Smothers was on hand to offer support to the affected employees and community. He expressed his condolences and heartbreak for those who will be losing their jobs soon. There is nothing I can say or do that will bring peace to that. There will be questions and answers in the coming days, but right now, I just hurt for the soul of Canton and Haywood County and everyone affected, he said. Despite the difficult news, Smothers offered a message of hope, highlighting the character and resilience of the community. Being a mill town is not necessarily about having a mill. It is about having character and grit and the ability to overcome adversity. Every single one of those traits will be called into service as we make it through this economic crisis. If it's those things that make us a mill town, those traits will be what carries us through as we will build a new future. This is not the end of Canton. This is the end of a chapter. The closure of the Canton paper mill is a significant loss for the community, but the mayor's message of hope and resilience serves as a reminder that the people of Canton and Haywood County are strong and will persevere through this difficult time.